HookahPro.com, your ultimate source for everything hookah. Find the latest tips and tricks, videos, reviews. Know what they hate for, I'm just getting my paper. Well, maybe they'll love me more when I'm gone. I don't want to leave, but I need to. It's such a shame. shame. They gon' miss this place. What is up, Buka Pro? This is BTB Mordecai with another tobacco review for you guys. Um, today I'm doing a flavor that I have been researching probably ever since I smoked hookah for the first time. I posted a thread a while back about why is not the DA so or double apple so appealing? Why is it? Why does everyone love it? So I decided to spring for it. My last social smoke odor, I got 200 gram or 50 gram samples of Nakla two apples. So I figured I'd try it out. Weird thing is, it's dyed red. This is the only Nakla I've ever seen that has been dyed a different color other than traditional. But I guess it's because it's double apple. I really don't know. But cut is very typical Nakla. There's a couple stems. There's just some really big ones that I threw away, but it's not a big deal. Now when I smell it, I definitely smell a little bit of black licorice or anise, but I also get a natural slash sweet apple with some traditional undertones like of tobacco. So it smells acceptable so far because every double apple I've had has had high levels of anise in it. So I'm hoping this doesn't. Um, <coughs> I decided I would use the not the overpack technique to try this out to get the full flavor. Um, I have a video of that up if you guys want to check that out. If not, then whatever. I'm sure there are better overpacking methods on the website right now, but that's how I decided to do it. So I'm just letting the coals get ready, and I'll be back in about 10 minutes. Got to let the bowl heat up, so I'll be back. Hey, what's up, guys? I am back with my Nakla Double Apple review. Um, as I showed in the first bit of this video, I'm using the overpack method in my overpack video. So if you want to go see how I did that, go to my channel, and there's two videos, part one, part two, of overpack. Um, so this tobacco is dyed red, um, like I said. And it has a very natural apple smell with little anise smell to it, so that is very good. I like that. When I smelled it first, it kind of smelled a little bit like alfalfa double apple, so I was a little wary about it. But as I started to really dig into it, it really started smelling its own, you know, flavor. Really, um, I got three coconuts on top, wind cover for heat management. Got my Rugrats hose from Puka Set, Medium Cafe, almost that, all that. So, we got about 5 10 minutes. I've had to heat up the tobacco, so we'll see how it goes. So, already, I'm starting to get some opaque clouds. Nakla takes typically a little longer to heat up than most, so. The clouds will only get better. The taste. The taste is actually very pleasant. Um, I'm getting almost little to no anise in it. I don't know if it's because I decided to overpack it or just because the flavor itself has little anise, but it tastes really, really good. I had one of my friends smoke it um, two nights ago, and the only double apple he's ever had was hookah hookah, and as we all know, it's full of black licorice, 
and he said that this was a really, really good flavor, although he didn't really like the buzz of it, because he's not really a seasoned smoker, but I agree with him. It's got a, it's, to me, it's kind of creamy. It definitely has a very nice apple flavor to it. Um, <clears throat> kind of like you're biting into a fresh apple, kind of. Anise is very, very low, so that's good. Um, I'm also getting tobacco taste and some sweet spices in there that I found. It's it's kind of a creamy and spicy flavor. Um, so I wasn't expecting that. Definitely has spices in it, which makes it a really unique flavor. Um, so I'm really glad that I got this flavor. I don't know if it's like completely for me. I know people buy like kilos of the stuff because they love it so much, but it's an okay flavor. I don't know if I'd spring for the 250 of it, um, but that's just me. So I'm going to give this an 8.5 out of 10. It has a really, really nice apple flavor to it. It's probably the best I've tried out of any double apple I've tried because every other one has anise in it, a lot of it. And I'm really glad that I did research on this one because this seems to be the go-to flavor for almost all Hooper Pro members. So I had to see what all the buzz was about, literally. Since it is overpacked, it packs a very nice buzz to it. So that's good. Uh, I like the tobacco undertones in it and the spices that I've found. So that is also complements the flavor very well. So this definitely gets an 8.5 out of 10. I definitely like it. I got enough for one more bowl, so we'll see if I start liking it more. Uh, yeah, so this is BTV Mordecai from HookahPro.com, your ultimate source for everything hookah. Um, if you're not a member, check out the forums. It's free to sign up, it's easy to. I've been on a little hiatus from video making because I have been at school. I know I'm not like the greatest video reviewer out there, but I have a good amount of reviews under my belt, and I'm just giving you guys an unbiased review of what exactly I think about flavors, so, I mean, probably not the most well-liked, like, most viewed one out there, but I think that I give the tobacco a fair review, so, uh, just check out my videos, if you like them, you know, comment on them, but once I get back from school, I'll get more reviews out. I got plenty of stuff to review, so it'll be about two weeks. So if you guys tune in for that, that's fine. If you don't, that's fine too. I just want to make reviews let you guys know. Alright, and this is BTB Mordecai signing out.